For today's Cooking with Dinoy episode, we're going to do something a little different. Something we haven't done in a long time, which is actually cook outdoors again. Uh, this time we're cooking at Camp Freedom 4, which is the little area behind Walter's house that was built up with the tree from his yard. I've removed some of it to get rid of, but you can see I still have plenty of wood there that I'll be using to make a little fire here. But to help it out, I am going to use... Um, uh, grilling or uh, charcoal fluid and I have some lint which is a really good fire starter and some paper towels so we're gonna make a fire here to try to make hamburgers and hot dogs nothing too fancy I got my kids here for the weekend so we're just gonna um, make something simple so a little lizard friend there too big and we don't want it too high up. Believe it or not, we actually have some, um, what's that stuff, the fronds. Hopefully the snake's not in here. I don't know if this is too high or not. Kind of reminds me of working at Camp Freedom. I cook out there all the time using frond leaves. Good news is it hasn't rained in a couple days, so the wood is really dry. I'm gonna make it so I can feed it, feed the wood. I'm going to have to make more wood to put in there while the fire is burning. The fuel is courtesy of uh, Walter's tree. Gonna squirt all this down. Let's press here to open. I'm not very good at pressing here. to light the fire except I forgot to get a, a match or something so let me go ahead and get that and try to get that fire going hopefully we can get this uh, burning and uh, cooking here soon all right I was able to find some more paper towels which we're gonna put in here and to smell those fumes man maybe a couple more sticks of wood here a really nice fire. All right. Let's go ahead and light it and um, see what happens. Fire. Oh, big, too big. <laughs> Whew. 
Ooh la la, that's a big fire. Saw the um, the fuel that I uh, put in there. I do miss um, I do miss this actually. You know, reminds me of the days out at the yurt. We'll let that burn off a little bit. Then we're gonna put the the grill on top, and put these um, things on top, and then do cooking. Let's see if I can't get my son to come help me here. I need him to run food for me. All right, we're back, and you can see I actually have some water right there, just in case. Fire has died down, and I'm actually going to put the the grill on it. That will be our cooking surface there. We could film. So, can you do me a favor, Nick? Yeah. Can you get the... Um, oh, you are filming. Can you get the metal things? What did I do with them? The, the cost? No, the aluminum foil. Are they over here? No, those aren't yet. What the heck did I do with the cooking surface? Let me look for the cooking surface. I've lost, misplaced the cooking surface. All right, we were able to find the, the cooking surface, so I'm gonna put these out here. I'm debating how I wanna do this. I think I can do it like this and, and have two cooking surfaces on it. Maybe only one. Ow, this stuff's hot. All right, maybe like this. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, like this is better. And I can have a, a larger cooking surface. We do have our badia. <laughs> oh, sweet badia, which we haven't had in so long. So this is what I'm going to use to to season the um, the hamburger meat. Can you do me a favor, Nick, and get the hamburger, and we're just going to toss it on here and toss the badia. So nothing really uh, fancy. Just a simple little meal with my kids. Um, the whole bag? Yeah, bring the whole bag. I'm going to toss them on here and, and start heating it up. Then we got to feed a little bit more sticks in here and, and keep the fire going. If I was you, I would only use one because, like, you're basically only yeah. using one because only half of the thing is going to be heated up. Yeah, I think my son's, like, smart, smarter than me. I'm going to take this off and just center this. See, it goes right over it. Make it a lot easier to um, cook. So, we're just going to throw the meat on here for now. Looks like we got six of these. And some hot dogs later for people who want something else. There we go. It actually works perfectly uh, for uh, six hamburger patties. I don't know if you can see that here. I'm going to try to zoom in. I think does not want to zoom in here. But those are our hamburger patties cooking.